Pangolins may not be easily recognized by an average Nigerian except for hunters or conservationists. They are mammals that has a body covered with honey overlapping scales, a long stick tongue for catching ants and termites, and a tempering tail. For the stakeholders at the World Pangolin Day, they emphasized on the need for more awareness on preservation of pangolins in the country as against the name of killing for bushmeat or exportation to foreign countries. The World Pangolin Day itself just started about seven years ago uh, globally. So uh, although it's coming a bit late to Nigeria, it's high time it came because the pressures are really much and the awareness is very little in the country. Like you said earlier, most people don't even know how a pangolin looks like and what it does. So uh, yes, it's not the first day even in Nigeria. It's not the first time, but this is the first time we are really making it loud enough possibly for people to hear. There hasn't been a lot of awareness going on, but even more important, um, awareness is fine, but what you really need to do is behavior change. Um, so not only do the people need to be aware that these animals exist, but they need to be um, knowledgeable about why they're important to them, important to uh, their country. Um, you know, they can be considered a national treasure of Nigeria, which is extremely important. This is, this is their wildlife. For these environmental activists, Desmond Majakodumi, it kicked against the incessant killings of pangolin, hopping on the benefit of this nature to man. What right do we have to eliminate a particular species forever, a species that we did not create, which has a purpose and a role in the whole ecosystems? So we need to get that consciousness into our mind that we cannot continue to do this plundering of God's wonderful creation. And when we've got that into our hearts and into our minds, into our consciousness, then there's practical things we need to do. The laws are there. It costs a lot now if you get caught. There's thousands of uh, millions, five million naira fine. To ensure adherence to the law, security agency at the event have this to say. There is no law prohibiting local consumption of pangolin. Therefore, if you go on the way you are traveling and see people selling pangolin meat, you cannot apprehend them because there is no law that guides you, that gives you, empower you to do such a thing. But what we can do, in view of the fact that some of them are trading in pangolin, and they will, after removing the scale, they now eat the meat. You understand? They will tell you that they are just eating it. But they are already engaged in the international trade because they are getting the scales and supplying it to the Chinese people that goes to the villages. The students at the event described what he knows about pangolins. Yes, I saw it with one of the men that spoke on the podium today. The man had the pangolin on his hand and he also put it in a bag and showed me when he came to his seat. Okay, so how can you describe the pangolin? A pangolin is, has a long nose or noose, I'm not sure, <laughs> and is filled with scales. A pangolin also has a long tail. Therefore, to save the environment remains a key issue of discourse. It is expected that security agencies will continue to work together to stop the illicit trade on pangolins to preserve the nature.